There were new accusations today against President Bush by the Iran-Contra special prosecutor. Lawrence Walsh suggested President Bush may have pardoned former Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger to avoid testifying at Weinberger's trial. Weinberger's attorney says that's just sour grapes. But as David French reports, Walsh is now setting his sights on the president. I'd like to say something about my own role in all of this. December 1986. The Iran-Contra bombshell had just exploded, and Vice President George Bush reportedly is beginning to dictate personal notes about the affair. The next year, Independent Counsel Lawrence Walsh asks that all such relevant notes be turned over. December 1992. A bitter Judge Walsh reveals he was told about the Bush notes for the first time on December 11th. And now that the White House is promising to make relevant notes public, Walsh's office is insisting their release is not the issue. A spokeswoman saying, the issue is whether or not they produced to us documents that we requested in 1987 in a timely manner. At the same time, the White House is insisting the notes will be released only after Walsh returns a transcript of secret testimony Mr. Bush gave to a grand jury in 1988. The purported reason, so that account can be made public as well. Legal expert Paul Rothstein offers two explanations. The nefarious one is that he wants to be sure there's nothing inconsistent in his testimony with material that's in the notes. The innocent explanation is that uh, he just wants everything to be out in the open. Governor, what do you Meanwhile, in Little Rock, the president-elect wasn't talking about reports some top Democrats support Mr. Bush's Christmas Eve pardons. Earlier, Clinton told reporters he wasn't up to date on news reports that said his own choice for Defense Secretary, Congressman Les Aspen, had told the White House he would back the idea. The Los Angeles Times said Aspen and House Speaker Tom Foley had assured the President after being lobbied by Casper Weinberger's lawyer, Robert Bennett, and former Reagan aide, William Clark. Aspen and Foley could not be reached for comment. But other Democrats in Congress are promising an investigation. And with speculation, Walsh could pursue the president even after he leaves office. Paul Rothstein and other experts are pondering the implications of Mr. Bush invoking executive privilege or even pardoning himself. Whether or not he can pardon himself in advance is an open question under our law. And uh, that's one of the very dramatic points in this situation. David French reporting.